Okay, welcome to the vlog. We here, quarantine time. We, I don't know how many days. We, we're not counting days every day of the quarantine. We're taking it one day at a time, enjoying each day, being productive in each day, and yes. keeping it moving. Okay, so we are so happy that you guys are tuning into the vlogs. The vlogs are doing well. We're getting more views. We're getting more subscribers. Me and Alexa, y'all. Over there, Alexa working so hard on the vlog. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I always say we. I mean, it's Alexa me does help me with. Okay, Alexa helps me with the you, know, you know the editing and you stuff. Say we all the time. I always say we. I don't know why I say you know we. I'm, I'm always like, yo. So we just finished the painting. We are working on the Birkin bag. We finally finished. The, well, I finished the Birkin bag, and now I'm adding a little sealer to it. So it's important to seal it up because. Uh, you know, these Birkins are worn and, and they get scratched, they get rained on, so we seal it up good. This is our sealer for all you other artists wanting to copy me out there. Steal my ideas. This is satin varnish. This is the, you know, one of the best quality ones. Uh, I found this is really good because it has a good consistency. We do a couple layers with this. Here's another one. This is another Birkin bag I started working on day before yesterday. We're being productive. We're making pieces. We're making one of a kind Birkin bags. The Birkin bags are very special. I love working on the Birkin bags because it's like, it's like almost like installation art meets performance art meets my graffiti on a extremely valuable surface. So it's kind of cool when you see uh, amazing people wearing them after I make them. And you know, wearing them out in the street at parties. It's pretty cool. It's like a moving graffiti mural on an amazing bag. So I did the spray paint on this. I'm gonna seal it up because once you do that sealer, it's kind of like a gesso too. So it's like a base coat. So it makes it easier to paint on. So I'm just gonna do a little sealer on this one too. Why not? Okay, so right now, it kind of looks like it has a little bit of like a white film on it. That's because it's still drying. So when it dries, it dries clear. We do thin layers at a time and then move to the next layer. We just woke up, we're having our morning coffee. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, that's when I have the most energy. And they say that's when you're most creative when you first open your eyes. So try to start working right away when I wake up, right after my coffee, then I get going and I'm working on my Birkin bag. Here's the wall of the house. I'm always switching out art. It's like the ever evolving, uh, you know, gallery wall over here. So this piece is very special to me. I changed it out, I'm working on it still. I just gotta add the LV and the Louis. This is a happy piece. It's of my favorite hotel, Hotel du Cap, Eden Rock in Antibes. It's, uh, there's a lot of good memories there in that hotel. You know, in the summertime we go there. So I've decided to bring it over here because it, it, it reminds me of better times and it's kind of happy colors and this is a special piece. For some of you that don't know Hotel du Cap, it's one of the nicest, oldest, classiest hotels in the world. I have some photos here in my bedroom of Hotel du Cap. There's a real photo of it. These are Slim Aaron's photos. Slim Aaron's is a, well he was a very famous photographer from like the 60s and 70s. Um, iconic guy, Hotel du Cap. So it's only right that I brought my piece, my painting of Hotel du Cap over here. Hopefully, none of us, see, the number one question is, when is the quarantine gonna be over? I'm hoping at least by summer, so we can go to Hotel du Cap. So this is kind of a little uh, light at the end of the tunnel. This is a little motivation and uh, you know, it's beautiful to look at. So I've decided to bring this one over. And over here, we are still working on this piece. We took some out, we added some more white. It's ever, ever, ever evolving. What do, what do you got going on over here, Alexa? Matcha uh, tea. Matcha tea. Almond milk. Wow, we are trying new things in the quarantine. Of 
instead of coffee, yeah. you're cheating on coffee. No, coffee's just not good to have a lot, and we have like three or four cups, so I have this, and I'm gonna have my coffee too. What do you miss most about the real world? I just miss that you would be like, oh, in two weeks we're going to like, Milan. So you like, miss traveling the most. Yeah, but I miss like the excitement of like, oh, we're gonna Looking go here. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, and ordering stuff and like. It's the unknowingness planning. of not knowing when this is ever gonna end. Yeah, the gym is tough for us too. There's no gym here. Yeah. We ordered some like bands like pool, and stuff. Pool, beach. Yeah. But like, if we were in the community and didn't have to, like, we could use the facilities. Like, I wouldn't. I would not even feel like it's quarantine. I feel like it's normal. Yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we fact, don't leave the house. The fact that everything's shut down. But I, I think it's really upsetting that there's people out there that aren't doing social that are distancing. It worse. That are making it worse, and they're like having beach parties and and meeting up and stuff like that. I think that's the worst because that's just only going to make us quarantine longer. So those people stop being selfish, stay at home, listen to the guidelines. Guidelines. We even know people My. that are doing that. I see people like on... I know. And like I want to snitch them out and be like, yo! <laughs> yeah. No, nah, we don't do that. Let's set a good example, people. Let's stay home. Let's look out for the elders. Okay, so today we're working on my book a little bit. And we are getting it popping. So we're using some of our favorite books as inspiration on how we're going to do the layout. So. Uh, I love Jean-Michel Basquiat, so it's a beautiful book. I don't want too much writing in my book. I think I want it to be mainly uh, pictures and fun stuff. You know, it's hard to do a book on, you know, a retrospect or whatever because my career is developing every day. So um, I think it's cool to just do something uh, of past works, current works, and go through there. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Truffle is in training. Truffle's killing it in the training. I'm over here adding some Louis print to the Hotel Ducat piece. What a happy piece, right? Doesn't this piece kind of remind you of better times? Truffle, Sid. Good girl. Truffle's doing good. You like the Louis print? Louis Vuitton done. <laughs> this Louis print is hard because it's so small and tight on the canvas, but we get it. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this Birkin by just, you know, laying out the characters with a little drawing. We're gonna do this one a little different. We're gonna do two characters on it. Uh, try to fit them on there. Make it look good, let's go. Now we are adding a force field. It's kind of used in graffiti to make things pop. The black is kind of blending with the brown, so we gotta make it bright.
Okay, so you see the bag. You see me cooking up the art. It's time to see me cooking in the kitchen. All right, we over here cooking in the kitchen with my knobs. All right, we got a little asparagus in there. Check it out. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna make some lobster and risotto. We got the risotto right here. And there's that lobster tail. Oh yeah. Put this on broil. Hi. We've been cooking the asparagus for like 10 minutes, so we're gonna let it get super crispy because I like the asparagus crispy. I'm gonna put it on the top under broil for a couple minutes. Let that get crispy, and then we add the lobster. Now we're gonna leave that in the oven and keep an eye on it. This is actually my first time cooking lobster, broiling it in the oven. We don't have a grill here, so we're doing the best we can with what we have. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, and a nice glass of wine. Look at this lobster. Does that look beautiful? Yes, it does. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Looks like a chef made it. Mukbang! Ooh, Monop Lobster. I like a little Tabasco on there. Little hot ciggity. Mmm. That was nice. It was like kind of light. Perfect amount of food. The lobster was a little overcooked. Other than that, no complaints. Shout out to Nobu. I miss you, man. I miss that sashimi. Okay, so we are headed to the studio. Got all these Birkin bags. We're gonna go to the studio so we can pack them up. Wow, it's a lot of bags. Okay, we on our way to the studio. But first we're giving Truffle a little walk. 2020 dog walking at its laziest point. So we're on our way to the studio. I haven't been to the studio in a couple days. We've been really staying home, but no one's at the studio. It's just me working there. So it's like an extension of my home. So I think we're all good but we are urging all of you to stay home because it's the best thing to do, especially in these times. You ready to go to work, Truffle? We're here at the studio. Come on, let's get to work, Truffle. New things we are working on. Look what we got going here. We got this, it's all recycled wood that we're giving it a street studio feel. Bringing the street inside. We also have Truffle here. She is a moving piece of art. Truffle, sit. Sit. Good girl. Her training, her training is coming along. And we have some Birkins. Check these out. This one you've seen on the vlog. It took about two vlogs to finish it. This one we were a little more motivated. It's almost done. Very cool.
We're headed for our little workout. My friend has the perfect driveway to get workouts in. He's out of town, so we are all good. He's got this big tire, it's good cardio, good leg workout. So we're walking over and getting a little taste of fresh air. Truffle's gonna work out too. You ready for your workout, Truffle? Okay, it's hot out here, so we are gonna sweat. That's how you get a good workout, I hope. All right, so we got the tire over here. Check out this tire. That is a full body workout. Ah, holy, I'm going to try to do that four times. These are my dirt bike gloves, but they're actually working great. Truffle, how's your workout going? Pump it up, Alexa. Let's see, I want to see 110%. 110%. Come on, you could do this. Woo, you're stronger than I thought, Alexa. That's hard for me even. Woo. Looking good, Alexa. Okay, so just had a great workout. Whew, that was serious. Just took a nice shower. Now I'm ready to head over to the studio and start the truffle painting. I brought Truffle to the studio so she could help me with inspiration for her piece. Truffle, are you ready to be my model? Are you ready? You're my big model today. Oh, my model. Hey. No biting, model. Model, stop biting me! No, she's, she's a good girl. Okay, here comes the truffle painting. We are running low on supplies because of the quarantine. Everything's closed, all the art stores. So, usually we have canvas already made, but today I'm making my own canvas. I do this in art school. It's a lot cheaper building your own canvas than buying a free stretch. Pre-stretched is a lot easier because you just throw it on the easel and you get going. So we're back to the basics. Laid truffle down on the canvas, laid down with the scrape paint. 
You laying down and Truffle's laying down. Okay, we have our model here. Our model is sitting, watching us create her. Okay, now that I'm looking at her, I see a couple little adjustments I gotta make, but she's looking good. It's kinda nice having my model live right here. Okay, so now we are adding the black acrylic paint. This is the fun part. Oh, look who it is with lunch, yay! It's time for a lunch break. We are lucky that we have a little restaurant that's inside our neighborhood so we don't have to go anywhere and we can pick up some to-go food. Are you excited? Alexa got a veggie burger. I got some salmon. I am so full right now, wow. Back to work. Truffle painting commenced. Baby truff doo 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 doo. Baby truff doo 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 doo. Baby truff. Okay, we are done with Truffle's piece. Truffle, come see your beautiful piece of art. Oh my God, it's Truffle on canvas. Look at Truffle. Does it look like Truffle? Mm-hmm, aww. Let's see Truffle. Wow, 
I really love my dog because I just put my dog on a canvas. Truffle, what do you think? You like it? Look at her looking at it. Truffle, that's you. Do you see? Oh, she likes it. She loves it. <laughs> She's so cute. Wait, okay, let me guys, take her. Thank you for tuning into the vlog. I appreciate you. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, drop a comment. We gonna see you next week. We still in quarantine, but we working on new things, trying new things, and I just painted my dog. Truffle. Be careful she doesn't eat the paint, please. She loves paint. Okay. Cause she's a painter's dog. Okay guys, see you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, much love.